Let's take a look at these two pictures on the slide. I ask that you take a few seconds to scrutinize over these two pictures and ask yourself, what are the adjectives that have conjured up in your mind? Would you describe these two women as beautiful? What are the criteria and qualities that form the template for us to measure what beauty is all about? A very good morning to the beautiful ladies and most certainly handsome gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone present today. First of all, I'd like to ask you a question. What is beauty? Is it based on how you look? Your youth? Beauty is used to describe so many things. That picture is beautiful. The sky is beautiful today. What a beautiful baby. Because beauty is used so much to describe so many things, how does someone determine if something else is beautiful? Nowadays, people are boycotted, isolated, discriminated even because they are fat or just because they are thought of as ugly. Therefore, in the pursuit of beauty, people tend to go overboard and finally become something they're not. Just to look beautiful, people resort to extreme measures from plastic surgery to starving themselves eventually resulting in unimaginable outcomes. Let us take a look at the following slide. This was one of the participants that was chosen to take part in a TV show known as The Swan. The Swan is a 2004 American reality television program in which men and women who were judged to be ugly were given extreme makeovers that included several forms of plastic surgery. Would you be utterly surprised if I tell you that these two pictures were of the same person? To look like the image on the right, this woman was subjected to jaw and nose reconstruction, silicon implants, collagen and filler injections, hair extensions, facial laser therapy, hair removal, electrolysis processes, and porcelain dental veneers. This is a complicated, time-consuming process. And let's not forget about the agonizing trauma that this person has to endure over nine months just to look beautiful. Shocking. Tang Tai? Believe me, thousands of individuals, men and women alike, have gone through such precarious procedures in the name of beauty. Kirsten Hagland was 19 when she became Miss America in 2008, one of the youngest beauty queens ever to win that national title. But she, however, used that platform to speak about what for her was a very sensitive topic. Anorexia nervosa. Now, she was consuming fewer than 900 calories daily, less than half the amount recommended for the average woman her age. Her hunger for more control morphed from starving herself to increasing her exercise routine as well as struggling with a demanding schedule, thus leading to anorexia. It was many days of small steps that led to something extreme. It was a recipe for disaster and a serious and painful situation. From time to time, I wonder why do people go so far to achieve beauty? Do they not realize that what's inside is far more important? 
Okay, you might have the illusion of looking great and you might have that satisfaction of fitting into a smaller shirt, but what does that say about you? It shows that you are unhappy, that you are ill, and that you are struggling. Ladies and gentlemen, do you love others just because of their looks? Don't you love them for who they are deep within? Would you stop loving them if they gained a few pounds, developed acne, stopped putting on makeup, or cut their hair? Nothing makes a woman more beautiful than the belief that she is beautiful. Now, I think that this quote from Sophia Loren speaks for itself. It embodies everything every living and breathing person should believe in. But why do we find it so difficult to completely, earnestly and actively live our lives with these words in mind? Why put so much importance and value to the way we look? It has been said that the word beauty is the most overused, misunderstood, poorly defined word in the English language. If no one can define beauty, then how can someone or something be ugly? Ugly is such an ugly word. Don't you think so? Now, I don't believe in the word ugly. Everything and everyone has something beautiful about them. As the saying goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Thus, beauty is purely subjective as each person has a different idea of what is beautiful. One man's garbage, they say, could be another's state of elegance, so to speak. Beauty is everywhere and inside everyone. We may not be able to see inner beauty in a person, but we can definitely feel it. A person with an inner beauty always touches people around them. The most famous poet, William Shakespeare, once wrote, Do I love you because you are beautiful? Or are you beautiful? Because I love you. Isn't that so sweet, ladies, to hear your man sing such beautiful outpour? Finally, if you love yourself truly, you will look beautiful. Do not paint yourself or disfigure yourself in the name of beauty because everyone else is doing so. How do you know who you are if you look like everyone else? Finally, I would like to leave you with this beautiful quote by Audrey Hepburn. For beautiful eyes, look for the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And for poise, walk with the knowledge that you are never alone. Ladies and gentlemen, shout it out. We are beautiful. Thank you.